This is the Cold Steel Dragonfly Wakazashi. Uh, the blade steel on this, 1050 high carbon steel. The blade length, 22 inches. The weight, 2 pounds. And as you can see, it has a, a green silk wrap on the handle, and underneath that is ray skin. Uh, the Suba, black, and it is iron. This is the sword in the Saya, all right, the Japanese uh, scabbard that it comes in. It is a hardwood Saya with a black lacquer coating, fairly standard. And you see the green, uh, the green silk here matches the wrap on the handle. Right, and it fits extremely tightly to the point that if I pushed it all the way in, it would be very difficult um, you know, to deploy. All right, so that is the Saya that the sword does come with. And it also comes with uh, two sword bags. Uh, one is a simple black sword bag. The other is a more uh, fancy silk one. Uh, here's just the basic, you know, sword cover uh, for transport that it comes with. And then it also comes with a more ornamental type uh, tassel and everything with the Japanese, uh, you know, Japanese motifs. You know, looks like a kimono to me. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But it does come with those free. All right, here you see a close-up of the guard, the wakazashi. The diameter of this guard is actually uh, noticeably smaller uh, than the guard on all my other wakazashis. I'm not sure the reason for that it might just be stylistic, but I would prefer if uh, this guard was more of a standard size. Now here you see a close-up of the handle of the sword. It is 9.3 inches by my measurement, so you can use two-hand, two-handed grip with this. There were some significant problems with the quality control of this handle. First of all, this component right here is loose. Uh, it arrived that way right out of the box. That's not from use, although I did cut test with it. That component is loose, but a bigger problem, this piece right here, easily comes off. You see that? And again, uh, it was like that right out of the box after only 10 to 20 minutes of cutting practice. Uh, you know, it started to come off. And as it does come off, you see it pulls the wrap. It pulls the wrap right down with it. This green silk wrap uh, is just not done correctly. It's not tight enough. It, it easily starts to slide down in just regular use. You see that? Just starts to slide down. In all the Japanese uh, type swords I've owned so far, I've never had any where the wrap came down just so easily. So yes, it is a real shame the quality control issues with this handle. I'm very tempted to just take this wrap off altogether, take this part off, and simply replace it with a thin uh, leather wrap that you more fine on a western type sword. Now as far as the blade, completely different story. I couldn't be happier with the blade in terms of uh, the initial sharpness was very very sharp when I practiced uh, the cutting. Completely, you know, definitely A plus for the sharpness of this blade. Uh, you see the kasaki, the tip, they call this the iris leaf uh, tip pattern shape and I was also very happy with that design uh, extreme cutting and print penetration ability with that shape of tip now notice there are not one but two fullers uh, they are partial fullers if you don't know what a fuller is it's simply a groove there's a, a groove there and then a, sl a slightly longer groove there and as I said they are partial it terminates right there and then the shorter one terminates there right, and this part right here is a false edge All right. now the purpose of that false edge aside from just looks is to lighten the blade 
All right, so that unique design with two partial fullers and then that false edge. I like that design. I feel it, it looks good and it's functional. Like I said, it's a two pound blade. It's a nice heft for a short blade, uh, but it's not overly heavy. So it's still an extremely fast and maneuverable blade as well, which is generally what I want from a Wakazashi design. So this blade design, the initial sharpness and the shape of the tip and the looks, the performance, I would give the blade an A+. Right? If I was just rating the blade alone, I would give this sword an A+. Unfortunately, because of the handle, you know, average or a little above average, if you want something just as a cutter, it's great. I hope this has provided some good information for you. Stay tuned for many more videos. I'm out.